Hello and welcome to this special video with a focus on creating a uh, curtain wall, uh, but a glass, pretty much a glass dome, I guess. Uh, it seems to be a little tricky. Um, takes a couple times for it to stick, but uh, I think I've kind of got a solution for this. If uh, anybody out there has a better solution, please go ahead and, and let us know because this seems to be uh, the long way around, but it's the only way that I can actually get it to work correctly. So um, it's basically done with massing uh, and from massing you can apply obviously uh, curtain systems to a mass. So to create a sphere, we could use a component, but it's, it's easier to use a mass in this case. So what I'm gonna do is go to massing I'm going to do an in-place mass. Uh, it's going to give me a, a little warning here. You can hit close. We're going to name this Sphere. Okay, notice I am on the level one plan here. I'm not on any special reference plane or anything like that. All right, so I'm just going to drop this in here. I hit escape a couple of times and then I'm going to come up here and hit my modify and select this again and then change this to the whatever size that you're interested in. Okay, so uh, now that I have my circle here with a radius of 15 feet, I'm going to hit create form and I'm going to do a solid form. And you'll notice it gives you two options here uh, to select this option, uh, it gives you a cylinder. If you select this, it gives you a sphere. Uh, you can see that better in a 3D view, obviously. Uh, but th there's the two different options here. Uh, and again, this is the one that we're actually interested in here. All right, so uh, obviously we can't see the sphere now. I'm gonna go ahead and create this default 3D view here so we can see. So there's our sphere. Uh, and you can see it's given us two halves here. Okay, and um, I'm just going to go ahead now and apply uh, this. Let me go ahead and finish mass here. And I want to show you what the difficulty is with this, with the two halves that we have here. Uh, if I come over here to Mask and Sight again and do a curtain system, I'll select multiple and I'm going to select the top face and the bottom face and then hit create system. Alright, you'll see um, with reference to the front here, we would be looking down here. So this would be actually the top of our dome. Um, so there's difficulty with doing this by just throwing in halves. And believe it or not, it's a struggle to get this uh, to work the way that it should work. Uh, so I guess the shortcut that I found that makes it work. And again, if, if you know uh, a better way, please speak up. It would make a lot of people happy. Uh, but again, if I look at the front on, in this 3D view, consider this the north elevation. So obviously, if we're going to do a dome, usually the dome top would be rotated up like this. Uh, and we would be looking at it in this fashion. So you can see we're looking at it upside down and actually at an angle. Uh, so to take care of this, we go back to the front view here. I'm actually going to select my uh, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to hit the escape to get out of here and I'm going to select my uh, make sure you actually select your mass and not your grid. You can see I have my grid selected. You might have to hit uh, tab a couple of times to, to actually get that right selection there. There we go. And I'm going to go back in and edit it in place. And I'm actually going to um, select again, select the shape one more time. So we're kind of in the hierarchy here. We have to go all the way back. And we're actually going to go one more step further. And we're going to edit the profile now that we've already created this. So if you think about what's happening here, and it's good that you can see that this is great out here. If you stop and think what's happening, we see that uh, we drew our profile on this plane. Okay, 
this is the the circle that we that we drew, but uh, Revit automatically chops it in half because what it has to do, it starts at you can see here it starts at an angle of zero where it's at now, and it ends at 360 degrees. Uh, and just to show you that, if I wanted it to come down to you know start and stop here, and we could take a little wedge out of this, that would maybe be 270. But just to show you, this isn't necessarily uh, necessary. To complete this but just to show you if you're new to the concept uh oh, i had it backwards i'm going to rotate it in the wrong side but you get the the idea there uh we started here and we rotate 270 so we didn't completely rotate uh the complete 360 degrees as uh for a complete sphere so now we actually have like a little pac-man figure here uh with the wedge taken out so that's Revit breaking up the, the circle that we created in order to create a sphere because you can't rotate a circle 360 degrees. Uh, and if you try to do that, you would have overriding uh, geometry, right? Because, uh, it, would, it would just be a mess. So we're going to go back in here and edit this profile again. So the solution to do this is to actually cut this down one more time. That way we have Revit's one half here and we have our one half here. So what I'm going to do is actually draw a line from the midpoint here down to the midpoint here. Okay, and then I'm going to select my axis and make it much, much smaller. It doesn't matter how long this is. Uh, the only thing that matters with this axis, th this axis can be considered infinitely long. Uh, the only thing that matters is that it's, it's in the right direction. It has the right angle. So I just uh, made sure I didn't lose the direction. I just made it shorter. Okay, so it's still on that same plane. Uh, it's just much shorter and it's easier to work with for this trim command that we're about to do. So I'm going to select trim. And I want to keep this wedge here. And then there's also, you have this other line coming down through here, which is why I made this shorter. So you also want to select this and trim that. So now you should just, you should just be left with this little wedge here. And I imagine you could have started with this shape to begin with. Uh, I think it's just easier to deal with maybe a sphere for now. But if you remember in the beginning when we uh, drew a sphere, if maybe you just drew this one shape and figured out how to get that to actually revolve instead, uh, you could do that. But uh, for this, I would, I would just recommend that you keep uh, the sphere for now. Okay, so and then after I draw that little wedge, I'm going to hit the check mark, and you'll see now I have a half sphere. Okay, what you're seeing over here Whenever you draw a curtain system onto a mass, there are two different items. Okay, so basically this mass is a, a mold to, for this to just to be draped upon. So that gives you the ability to delete or hide this mass once you're done with it and still keep this. So these aren't connected in any way. Uh, fortunately for us, we can do an update. So I can go back... Uh, I'm going to finish my mask because I'm still inside my mask. I'm going to finish that. And I'm going to find the, notice that the center circle here, there's a center dash circle that represents the entire curtain system. If you try and select one of these, you're only going to be able to, to add or move that individual segment. So you need to find the, the center circle here that goes all the way around. And that will take you back. Uh, and notice here that there's a, an update to face. So I want to update to this face that we just created. So there's our new dome. Okay, so we're starting to get in the right direction here. Our points are no longer meeting over here. The point's meeting at the top where we want it. A few things you notice that's off-centered here. Uh, no big deal. What we're going to do is select that dashed line again to go back to edit this curtain wall. And I'm going to come over here and instead of my justification being at the beginning, I'm going to justify that to the center and hit apply. Okay, you'll see that, that separates those. And then I'm going to do that one more time for grid 2. Center. Let's see. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually going to come in here right now. We're on a 5 by 10 uh, 5 by 10 grid. So what I'm actually going to do is come in here and edit type. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm just going to say this is custom. And this is where you can uh, fine-tune it yourself for whatever you're, whatever you're looking for. Uh, this is actually the grid construction itself, so I'm just going to hit custom for now. You know, you would probably want to be a little more 
uh, defined there. Uh, curtain panel, we're going to want to do glass. Join condition if we wanted something, uh, you know, one of these to be continuous. Fixed distance. Um, I would actually rather do a fixed number, I think. <clears throat> Square mullions and square mullions and the fly. Okay, that updates that. Now you can see we have a nice uh, separated space dome there. Okay, so that looks good. It's nice and smooth. Uh, it's practical. I like it. So I think we can stick with that. One thing we have to still consider is if I go to a north elevation. You'll notice that it's rotated the wrong way uh, if you want to put this dome on top of your building, which I'm assuming most of you do. So uh, what you're going to want to do in this case, you can actually rotate the mass itself, but you can rotate the curtain system. So uh, if you select the curtain system and then select rotate, okay, and you're just going to do a simple rotate at 90 degrees, and that'll rotate that. Notice the mass stays put. If you're, if you know you're done completely. Uh, it's good to just uh, delete this guy so you can just select it hit delete and notice you keep uh, your curtain wall grid here uh, and then you can you can change where you want this to actually be using you know if this was actually the top of your building on level two you could uh, just get away with a line tool uh, let's see Should be able to get away with the line tool, maybe not. Got some weird buckling going on there in the corner. Okay, the line tool is not necessarily going to work. Let's see if we can change our our work plane here. Looks like we're just gonna have to stick with dragging it up here. All right, we sh we should be able to align that. Uh, maybe I'm just missing the. Uh... Let me try one thing here. Let me uh, actually select this dash line again. I'm gonna come down here to my type and for my border type, I'm gonna do. <clears throat> one square for that. Looks like I, I hate to I hate to say it, but uh, if we're going to use the side method, it looks like we're going to be eyeballing this for now until I need to come up with a better solution. I'm not too happy about the fact that you have to eyeball that, but uh, at least we're we have the dome. A couple more things about this dome. Let me get a little 3D view here. Uh, so, if you wanted to further modify it, say you didn't want uh, all these stripes up here in the top, or all these segments, not stripes, I'm sorry, <clears throat> all these segments, you would select these individual segments, and after you select the individual segment, you'll see you get the option here to add or remove segments. So I can click these individual segments and delete them if you don't want them as you go along. So you select the segment and you hit it, delete. Oops, and you can go around and delete whatever segments that you want to. Mm. Okay, you can 
really customize if you wanted to t take out certain ones here. Uh, you can see you just go around and click and delete on this uh, as you see fit. So if you wanted maybe to leave a couple, you would probably need a couple in there, I would imagine, for some sort of support. But This is actually a loop, so we're not going to be able to directly edit that one. Keep selecting the paste there by accident. There we go. There is that dome. Uh, again, if anybody has uh, any advice for us here as far as uh, how a better way to do this, uh, please feel free to speak up. I look through books uh, this, that focus on the area. I've looked obviously on the web here and there. And, uh, I was, I've never been able to actually find a, a good tutorial on how to do this dome, but uh, for those of you that are struggling, uh, this should get you started.